<laughs> Alrighty. So, this is episode, technically episode dos, of the 358. <sighs> Side note, it was beautiful a couple of days ago, and then it dumped about 60 billion feet of snow yesterday and all of the surrounding tri-city state area is out of power except for my little house because it's a winter no i'm just kidding but literally nobody has power uh they did get power back on for us which is pretty nice not here at the garage though um so but today is nice again so there's one day of snow dumpage uh solid solid foot of snow the wet stuff that like one scope breaks your back and you fart and shart yourself all at the same time when you're trying to shovel snow and then you just say yeah i won't do this anymore yeah well nobody's got power because of it but it is a beautiful beautiful day today i got off work and i really really wanted to work on this because as you guys know i brought the rig home and haven't touched it since it's been like all of a couple days and it's been eating at me when i go home and it's snow and i can't can't work on it so today it's like let's do this thing the goal was to get slack adjuster back wheel broken loose i was like there's no way there's no no way this is gonna happen but guess what happened through perseverance and possible hernia slack adjuster now moves and look at the separation on my pads now it's nuts oh hold on get up oh yeah did <laughs> you guys see that all oh, spread right open alrighty so now I'm gonna I'll be honest that was that was a battle I was I gave it I gave it all the torques you know you know what I mean I did one of those and it broke loose I thought I snapped it but with the help of Quirk CB, that little guy, and the old Milwaukee grease gun, pa, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do a startup video of the unit. I hooked up the batteries. I don't know if it'll start, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna put you right here, if you guys can see, because I was gonna do like a cool shot from the ground, but it's really moist. When there's 85 metric tons of snow melting all at the same time. Yeah, sure. Let's see what happens. Yeah, ah. Uh.
makes me so happy. I just, you know, the good thing is that we get a hole. The perfect hole right here. We just, you know. will spin now. nicer than most. Boom. Oh my goodness. Oh my Lantis. Holy guacamole in the freaking pastrami sandwich. Oh my Lantis. Let's get some action of this. Let's get some action of this. Now, the reason why I am so excited that that wheel, you guys couldn't tell because my back window's buggery. I am so excited that this wheel moved because I for sure thought it wasn't. I honestly was overthinking it. You know how you get when you got a unit that you really are fond of and, uh, you just want it to work right, even though you bought it sitting in a dingweeds for 20 years. And you're just, you know, you overthink. I honestly thought the bearings and everything was shot in the rear. I thought the rear was stuck because of how much I tried to get that wheel to break loose. And, uh, but it's funny because then you got stuff like you work on at work. You know, you're working on it and you're like yeah it'll be fine and you're not worried about it and you don't overthink like you're working on it you're like wow this thing's puking a lot of oil i'll do an oil change and then it ends up not puking a lot of oil but if it was something that you owned and it was doing that you're like oh my goodness my motor's gonna blow my valve seats are all shot i got a hole in my piston it's just the way she goes and that is exciting that that unit just broke loose so we're gonna get some tooling around action we don't want to drive her too much because because it's got 20 year old oil in it still but we're gonna get a close up of that wheel move. Did you see it? Did you see it move? 
it moved. I saw it move. <laughs> Slick. Now, that, I honestly was, I was anticipating that that segment of this video, <laughs> this part two was gonna be, it was gonna be a long one. I thought it was gonna be, ah, pulling axle shafts out, all this, you know, overthinking in the brain and stuff. No, she broke loose. I'd love to give you a little more by me, you know, splitting them. But it's a 20 speed, and I think some of the shift levers on your side splitter here are not functioning properly. So when I'm splitting it, I'm not finding any other gears besides low. Uh, that second time I grabbed it and it kind of bogged right down. I grabbed a second and started out and she took it. But I've been learning from a lot of fellas that with this V8 triple nickel, you really want to rev it right out and don't lug it. So it's going to be fun to try and learn how to drive this. Because like normally when you drive like a C15, you're shifting no more than two grand. You know what I mean? And this thing, you're supposed to technically, I guess, wind her right out like a two-stroke, like to 2500 2800 if any of you guys watching this know or has driven a truck with a triple nickel in a 20 speed or even driven a truck manual with a triple nickel don't be afraid to really comment down in in the in the comment area on your experiences and share your story with me it would be awesome i like hearing these stories plus I don't know how to drive this. <laughs> I don't even have a CDL. But anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Pitter patter, short video, actually accomplished something, super happy. Pitter patter, get at her, go buy a truck or something.